I recently went to Tokyo to reunite with my brother and explore the city. We hadn't seen each other in a few years, living in different countries. He's in Tokyo, and I'm in the UK. Here are some of the things we did during my stay. First thing first, food. For my brother and me, food is a love language, and we indulge in many delicious offerings that Tokyo has. Genki Sushi is an affordable conveyor belt sushi restaurant. You order using the iPad on your table, and the conveyor belt delivers the food directly to you. I try sea urchin sushi and natto, which is a fermented soy beans. The sea urchin was excellent, but the natto wasn't exactly my taste. It tasted like wet socks. We also dined at Roberta Honten, a century-old izakaya in Ginza. The place has a charming aesthetic, but no English menu. However, just order whatever they recommend. It's all delicious. If you're in the mood for something non-Japanese, try Tongchang, a Korean barbecue joint specializing in grilled pork belly. The owner also runs a club called Bacon, just around the corner. We didn't bring home the bacon, but we did crush someone's birthday there. We'll get back to food in a second, but let's talk about other places, like a secret way to see the Tokyo skyline for free. Go to Kabukicho Tower in Shinjuku, take a lift to 17th floor, and you will see the most amazing view of Tokyo. For another great view of Tokyo and some modern art, visit the Mori Art Museum in Roppongi Hills. It doesn't have a permanent collection, but instead hosts temporary exhibitions by contemporary artists. It's not free, costing about seven pounds, but it's well worth it. Some popular tourist spots in Tokyo are definitely worth visiting too, like the Sensoji Temple. Go early before nine to avoid the crowds, although the shops opens at 9.30. Offering souvenirs and traditional snacks like daifuku, a mochi filled with cream and strawberries. Sensoji Temple's architecture is amazing. I try omikuji, it's a fortune telling activity, and I receive a really bad luck. I tie it to the rack to leave the bad luck behind. I hope it works. Another spot in Tokyo that I recommend is the Shimokitazawa hipster area of the city with vintage clothing stores. Take your time to go through the clothes as some are overpriced and sizing can be tricky, so be prepared. For nights out in Tokyo, there are many options, from karaoke to bar hopping. The best place to experience it all is in Shibuya, the nightlife hub of Tokyo. We took a cab and our first stop was Hanabe, an izakaya with cheap drinks and Japanese retro memorabilia like Astro Boy. You can't have drinks without food in Japan. Robata Sho is another spot just a few minutes walk from there. We had sushi, grilled fish and even slightly pink chicken, but which they assure us is safe to eat in Japan. If you want to try a bit of everything, Shibuya Yokocho is the place to be. It's a building with a variety of bars and restaurants, offering food and drinks from different regions of Japan. Tokyo also has so many museums and attractions. Team Lab Planets is a must visit for first timers. It might seem gimmicky, but it's fantastic for getting Instagram worthy photos. We had a great time out there. And a lot of photos too. Another spot we loved was the Samurai and Ninja Museum. The entry fee even gets you into a Ninja Star Touring competition. The final spot I will share in this video is Asakusa Underground Mall. Built in 1955, it's Japan's oldest subterranean shopping street. Walking inside feels like stepping into a time machine. I had an amazing time on this trip, reuniting with my brother and exploring Tokyo's incredible sights and food. Every experience was unforgettable. I can't wait to visit Tokyo again and discover even more.